Hi, I'm Dr. Jean Strayer and I'm a five-year cancer survivor and I'm going to share with you a little bit of the research that I've done over the past few months. I've been using the beam ray light for a good while now, but just recently added a tool, a dark field microscope, to be able to study what's going on in the body at the cellular level. And the findings are just awesome. I want to show you a little bit about the equipment that I'm using and also about my research as far as what's happening with the white blood cells especially. So, let's take a look. This is the camera equipment, the Nikon Eclipse E600 that I'm using with a Sony camera with a flat TV monitor showing the blood cells magnified with a 100x objective. Now this man's blood, I'm scanning for white blood cells to see how much action they have, how much streaming is going on. These are the red blood cells. He's got a lot of clumping of the red blood cells. The white blood cells here, these two, are not really streaming. They've got some granular action in there, but they're not really reaching out and grabbing the debris that's in the blood. And there's a lot of debris in here. Here's some spicules in the background. There's a lot of dancing little bacteria out here but I'm scanning his blood to see what kind of action that we're getting with the white blood cells. Now we're going to do some light with the beam ray and then we're going to see what kind of results that we get as far as encouraging these white blood cells to activate. Okay, I'm going to show you after we did the beam ray light on him twice the difference in this man's immune protection from the stimulation of the frequencies of the beam ray. Again, real sleepy. All of this was done uh, one day, and then the next day we did a follow-up on him. We did some light and we did some more follow-up. So I'm going to show you what his blood looks like. And there's just all the difference in both the red and the white blood cells as far as the action. Now look at the difference in these white blood cells as far as their ability to stream and flow and to reach out and clean up the area around them. A lot of improvement in the action as far as the special forces being able to really activate. You have several areas that are streaming now. You can see right here where the kind of pseudopod or the finger is reaching out. You can see all of this activity right in here. A lot of granulars that are loaded with histamine and enzymes reaching out to digest the debris. You can see a lot of action in all three of these white blood cells. So the light frequencies really have stimulated these white blood cells to wake up and to go to work you can see with this white blood cell, it does have some activity out here. It's reaching out and working on some of this debris that's in the blood. And we had the parasite frequencies going, and the parasites in the center of these red blood cells will actually look almost like they're dancing to the beat of the frequencies that we're playing. So depending on which parasite frequencies are going, we get different kinds of movement now this is the third beam ray session. This is after the third beam ray session <clears throat> here. After his third beam ray session for parasites, you can see some of the parasites that were within the red blood cells have been released into the bloodstream so that the white blood cells can go to work in taking those out. Still does have some that are in the cells, but now we're getting them out of the cells so that the white blood cells can work on them. Please notice, too, that the red blood cells are not as congested. They're not as stuck together. We've got some good differentiation now to where they can carry the oxygen throughout the body better and not have as much fatigue. Now, this shot was taken just this morning, so he has had sinus and parasite frequencies, and we've got a lot better shape to the red blood cell. There's not as much debris we've got good movement throughout the entire white blood cell. This was of a, a photo that I took for him of this picture. 
So we've got a lot more streaming, a lot more action throughout the entire white blood cell. A lot more oxygen can be carried through the body in the red blood cells, and we have a lot more clearing of the parasite type activity that we had within the red blood cells. So tremendous improvement after he has had several of the beam ray light sessions for parasites and for sinus, which were two of his main problems.